Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasha. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. I can't be in front of you today, unfortunately. I'm not feeling very well. I was a little bit under the weather. That's a long story. Maybe God will allow me to share the testimony in due time. I have a word today concerning one of our brothers in the Lord. And before I jump into it, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today and we just want to thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the gift of revelation. I pray that whoever needs to see this word will actually see it. Whoever is meant to hear it, I pray that they will hear it. And I pray that it will bring encouragement and actually urge people to pray concerning this revelation. In the mighty and precious name of Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, on the 15th of July uh, this year, I had a vision around 4 a.m. Hopefully, I don't forget to insert the screenshot of the note um, that I wrote on my phone at the time. So, in this vision, uh, I saw Brother Marcus Rogers sitting in front of a stubborn red bull. He was meant to lead it and he was determined to. It just wasn't cooperating with him. It really wasn't cooperating with him at all. It was laying on its side in a green meadow and in a green meadow and he was wearing a beige tracksuit and a white t-shirt inside. So here's the thing. The way that he was dressed showed me that he was actually prepared for what he was meant to do, right? And he was sitting in front of the bull because, you know, it was laying on its side and he was just there like, well, if you're not budging, I'm not budging. I'm not going anywhere because I'm meant to lead you. So if you're going to just sit here just lay here by your side and I'm gonna sit right in front of you I'm not going anywhere because we're gonna do what we're supposed to do right so what the Lord is revealing to me in this vision was he has been called to lead a group of people however these people are being stubborn right they're not necessarily obeying the Lord and they're not necessarily submitted to the authority that God has placed in front of them. Now, I don't know if it's because of Brother Marcus's past or maybe because of his preaching style or whatever that these people have decided that they're not going to cooperate with him, but he has definitely been called as a leader and it's rather unfortunate that these people are being stubborn so we need to just pray that god would soften the hearts of these people that he has been called to lead so that he can fulfill his purpose and also so that these people may be led into the truth you know because there are a lot of false teachers out there so yeah we need to just pray that these people will have softened hearts and that they will yield themselves to the Holy Spirit and to the leadership that he has placed in their lives okay so I think that's about it be blessed and encouraged in Yeshua's name bye